Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do a review on Slender Man. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I got my dinosaur gummies, and I got a bottle of water, and you guys saw the gummies, right? I hope so, yeah. And I'm just chilling, and yeah, we're going to do a review on the new movie that just came out, Slender Man. Where is my daughter? People don't just disappear. So, for those of you who don't know who Slender Man is, or have you been living under a fucking box, the Slender Man is a fictional supernatural character that originated as a creepy pasta internet meme created by Something Awful Forums user Eric Knudsen, also known as Victor Surge in 2009. It is depicted as a thin, unnaturally tall humanoid with a featureless head and face and wearing a black suit. Stories of the Slender Man commonly feature him stalking, abducting, or traumatizing people, particularly children. The Slender Man is not confined to a single narrative but appears in many desperate works of fiction, typically composed online. Fiction relating to the Slender Man encompasses many media, including literature, art, and video series, such as Marble Hornets, wherein he is known as the operator. Outside of online fiction, the Slender Man has become an internet icon and has influenced popular culture, having been referenced in the video game Minecraft with the Enderman character and generated video games of his own, such as Slender the Eight Pages and Slender the Arrival. He has also appeared in a film adaptation of Marble Hornets, where he was portrayed by Doug Jones. He was portrayed by Javier Botet. Beginning in 2014, a moral panic occurred over the Slender Man after readers of his fiction were connected to several violent acts, particularly a near-fatal stabbing of a 12-year-old girl in Wisconsin. Now, I remember hearing about that. And honestly, I thought this movie was based on that. And so that's why, like, I was really, really, really eager to go see this movie. Because 
movies that are like based on true stories freak me the fuck out. Why wouldn't they? You know, stories that could possibly be true really, really, really freak me out. So I thought this was based on that stabbing that happened. It was not. Nowhere near it. Not at all. I was actually, in my opinion, I was disappointed in the movie. So now that you know who Slender Man is, let's move on. So basically, in this movie, a small town best friends, Hallie, Chloe, Red, and Katie go online to try and conjure up the Slender Man, a tall, thin, horrifying figure whose face has no features. Two weeks later, Katie mysteriously disappears during a class trip to a historic graveyard. Hold up. Now, when I first watched this movie and they went to a graveyard for a field trip, I was like, what school was that? I would have loved to go to a school where a field trip went to a cemetery. What? I never got to go to no cemetery. So when I saw the movie and I, I noticed that they were going to a cemetery, I was like, where, what, why? I was like confused. And for a child to go missing on a field trip, a school field trip, field trip to a fucking cemetery. So determined to find her, the girls soon suspect that the legend of the Slender Man may be all too real. When they finally realize that this fucking douche, tall ass douchebag with no face is real, it's too late. From a rating from a 1 to 5, I would give it a 3. Um, the actresses were really good, but the movie itself, the plot, everything ended. It, it was just dumb. Like, the ending of it was like, basically it left you, that was it. Like, one of those kind of movies. I cannot stand those movies. When you're sitting there watching it, and the whole movie you're waiting for the reason the movie was made. You know, the whole big thing. And then the end happens, and you're like, just stuck. You're sitting there like, what? The fuck was that? That was it? You know, I hate movies like that. Basically, um, it was uh, based in high school, like around high school kid age era. And there was four girls, and they summoned the fucking Slender Man bullshit dude. And he, you know, they were trying to debunk the Slender Man theory. And after they summoned it, all of a sudden, he was real and... They were hallucinating, having nightmares, getting physically sick. Um, they were scared all the time. They were feeling like they were being watched. They kept spotting Slender Man. And then this girl came up with this theory that, oh, we need to give him something that we love. And he'll give us our friend back because one of their friends goes missing. And that was the dumbest theory I've ever heard in my life. And obviously, Slender Man don't give a shit about anything that you value or, you know, love. And he just wants your ass dead. That's all he wants. So, I mean, basically, this one girl who thought of that idea killed one of her friends. It, the whole movie was just fucking weird. Really fucking weird. Um, I did like the couple of the actresses that play in that movie. Like, for instance, um, the girl Ren. She's played by Joey King. And I believe she was in The Conjuring. Um... I'd have to look that up. And then Javier Bote played Slenderman. Annalise Basso played Katie. But on Google it says Zoe Piper, and that's not what her name was in the movie at all. And then Jazz Sinclair played Chloe. Julia Goldani played Hallie. And Michael Burke played Hallie's dad. Kevin Chapman played Katie's dad. Jessica Blank played Haley, uh, Hallie's mom. So, the plot from Google of the movie says, Terror strikes when four teenage girls in a small town perform a ritual to debunk the lore of a tall, thin, horrifying figure known as the Slender Man. They soon fear that the legend is true when one of them suddenly goes missing. So, yeah, I mean, I thought it was me based on the true story of those, the three little girls that were friends, I think they were like 12 and 13, and uh, one of them came up with the idea that they needed to surrender and kill one of their friends, and surrender her to Slender Man for them to live, and for them not to hurt, for Slender Man not to hurt their family. So these 
three girls go walking into the woods and only one girl comes walk two girls come walking out. They stabbed their friend almost to death. I mean, she survived the stabbings. She was stabbed like, I don't know, 80 times or some crazy shit. And surprisingly, no main artery was stabbed. I mean, I don't get it. So, I mean, thankfully the little girl survived, but the other two girls, I believe, were locked away in an insane asylum or whatever. I don't know. You'd have to look it up. Um, I did watch a documentary of it. Maybe I'll put the link in the description. But, no, the movie was nothing like that at all. It was nothing like that at all. I was a little, I don't know, upset. So yeah, like I said, I from a one to five, I vote it. Um, I rank it uh, three. Um, I recommend that movie to maybe sixteen year olds, sixteen to eighteen. I mean, really nineteen, maybe even maybe even twenty. Sixteen to twenty year olds will probably get more of a thrill out of that than twenty one and up. It really wasn't that scary at all. I mean, but then again, it, it takes a lot for me to get scared. So maybe it's just me. I just don't think it was that scary. But, um, yeah, if you want, go see that movie. Um, I'm not here trying to say don't go and see it. I'm not trying to like talk shit about the movie or whatever. I'm just this is my opinion. So yeah, go see the movie. It came out yesterday, August 9th, and who knows how long it's gonna be out, but you don't want to miss it. So go check out Slenderman. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to this video, please subscribe, hit that like button, and Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you next time. Love you guys.